So Brad decided he wants to talk about the hunts we had during the flood. And I'm, first thing I did was go get me a glass of whiskey because I really don't want to talk about it. First off, I don't know which flood he's speaking of, but we had a pile of them. been murdering them every day the river starts coming up and I'm thinking all right so let's see what this is all about we've got Brad and Bobby from real tree coming in Tucker Ward from War Eagle coming in I've never met any of them so they're probably already gonna think who's this lunatic you know I'm like who's this wacko and so it's pouring down rain and the river's gonna go to 28 29 foot and the day before it was 26, 27, and it was coming up a foot from the time the boys parked the boat to the time we got back. So I can remember pulling up saying, boy, I'm gonna ease down here and check the boats, make sure they got fuel in them, and da 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 So I jumped in the can and start going down the road, thinking, all right, yeah, they should be here. And, the, and when you start hitting water on that main road, that means the river's up. So I get to where the boats are supposed to be tied and there ain't no boat. We finally find the boats and get them back to home base. And I'm just thinking, boy, we've got a mess get those guys to the blind. It's spitting, it's raining, plenty of ripples, windy, and uh, we're just hoping and praying that the ducks make us look a little bit better than what we were this morning. Oh yeah, they are. We run this exact setup, right? remember from shooting hours till like 8 30 the, the river had come up four or five inches and man guys it was an incredible hunt uh, I mean I've never shot ducks as close in the clouds as I did that day What makes this property so damn good when the river goes out is the headwater. And for, for those of you that don't know what headwater is, we learned real quick. It, it's pretty much the leading edge of the river. So if you look at Eagle's Nest, it sits right on the line of the headwater when the river's at 27 or 28 foot. And uh, that's, that is the flight line. We figured that out real fast. It's something in the in the ducks' biology that makes them know, hey, there's fresh water and we're going. And we're going as fast 
and as hard as we can possibly go and we're getting there because there's gonna be fresh food, not rotten, not trampling around in snow geese and shit on by shovelers. We're going to the new water for the fresh food and we're gonna hang out and not get shot at. Well, the only, the only part of that equation that they didn't count on was getting shot at part because boy, did we shoot at them. And it sure was fun. Huge flash. Oh, my. My bad. The first duck come through the first was a black Here you go. Who wants it? Hey! <laughs> Get you some of that. Huh? I figured you got that one. Oh, jewelry! <laughs> hey guys, Wes here and Frankie on the griddle. What you got? What you got going on, Frankie? A little Scottish fold, little steak. Where'd, eggs, you, where'd you learn this at? Taters. Used to run a grill at Steak and Shake since I was 13. Where are you at now? McDonald. They do they have a the griddle there? <laughs> Joe, head. You guys get two out front? Somebody kill that duck out front. Yep, got him. Go ahead. Go. Go. Get down. <laughs> you get that, Brad? What in the world just happened? That's my favorite. I can go to the truck. I ain't gonna lie, I shot the first time and then I started aiming. <laughs> once, they, once they stood up. Thanks for getting pretty tough. Sure glad Eric's back so we can kill some ducks now. You know, we found out real quick that, that Tucker, Bobby, and, and Brad, they were, uh, they were just pretty much one of us. I mean, at the end of the day, it was a bunch of laughs, a bunch of high fives, a lot of Delta Donnies, and uh, a lot of full stringers. And uh, it, it's gonna end up being a yearly tradition for us, and uh, we're excited to have those guys back. <laughs>